Hi everybody, welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya, how you doing today? Today is the 19th of January, 2020. And this is my, as I promised, I'm gonna do a little, just a little drop in. This is gonna be an intuitive read. Um, I have my, my Rider Whites, but I really don't have anything to read on right now, so I'm gonna give you my intuitive impression of what's gonna happen um, come Tuesday. The big news has not come out yet. It is coming, so stay tuned. Um, tomorrow, tonight they're gonna re-air um, Rachel Maddow's interview of Love Parnas. The Congress has a cache of information from his phone, his his WhatsApp, and, and all of that. There is an investigation ongoing, so don't think that he's given up all this information and that nothing's happening. It is, an investigation is happening. He has been indicted, so the Southern District of New York is already uh, investigating him as well as Congress, and Congress is... Um, using what he's given against testimony given by others to corroborate information, which is not going to be hard to do. If you heard any of his, his, uh, well, let's just call it testimony. It was an interview, but it was testimony. Um, and that's what the whole thing was. And the reason that they did it that way, I'm sorry, all this smoke is my sage. The first time it finally decides to burn correctly and it's like a fire in my house right now so i'm gonna move that out of the way but i want to make sure that all the good spirits are you know here so all right so what's going to happen is next week um on tuesday when the when the oh i'm i'm excited when the when the the senate hearing start the first day is going to be housekeeping they're going to set the rules um, we'll get to see most of that. There's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of deliberation. There's not going to be any trial per se. Um, they're just going to get housekeeping rules um, out. And then we'll, we'll get to hear Mitch McConnell say how much, uh, how long the days are going to be, how much filming there's going to be, what can be filmed, what witnesses can be called that type of thing. So Wednesday and Thursday uh, will be when the actual trial begins. But even that's going to be kind of sketchy. There's going to be a lot of back and forth. So the first, I would say the first, the first week is going to be pretty much moot. There's not going to be a whole lot of information coming out of the trial. There will be, in the background running, a whole lot of information coming from other sources uh, about what's going, what's, what's, what happened um, with uh, um, Vladimir uh, Zelensky and uh, what's going on in Iran and what's going on in Turkey. And I keep saying Turkey because Turkey is going to be a big thing this week. So um, we're gonna be, there's gonna be, the, the one thing that we have to do is to make sure that, that everybody understands that this is gonna be a drawn out process. As much as Lindsey Graham says that he wants it to just be one and done, that they're just going to walk in, hold a fake vote, and it's going to be over with, it's not going to be that quick. And it's not going to be that succinct. Um, right now, there's a lot of... There's a lot of chatter going on about treason, about sedition, about people not being good patriots, that they're hiding and protecting a man who's only going to be in office for a, a maximum of eight years. And this is what is so just mind boggling to me is how many people willingly are putting their heads on the chopping block for Donald Trump, who even if he wins this election, he's only got four years left in office, 
not a lifetime. He's not a king. He won't be. The more than half of America is done over over this. We're, we're, we've been past this. We're asking ourselves, how is this man still in office committing the crimes that he's committing? And then we're asking ourselves, how are our, our fellow Americans believing and following and swallowing this? Tomorrow is going to be um, a sad day, unfortunately. Um, we have, uh, on Martin Luther King's birthday, there's going to be a, a, a ship dedicated to an African-American soldier who was a hero during uh, World War II. That's a great thing. But there's also another white pride rally being held, I believe it's in Virginia. And they've already arrested a bunch of people. They've already, the FBI has already uncovered plots of, of uh, violence that they have been planning. They're bringing weapons. So if you live in Virginia, please don't be out there with them. They want trouble. They want to hurt people. And they don't care. This is their, their, this is their Heil Hitler to Trump. This is to show him, this is going to be a show that his base will go to war against innocence. So that's unfortunate. There, there will be a number of police officers, but there's going to be violence. And it, it's going to shed a light on how deep the divide, how much racism and hate there is in this country. And it's going to be on display for the entire world to see. So if you are in Virginia or if you were attending or planning to go to that rally, please don't save yourself save your sanity and please don't 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 entertain them they're dangerous and they are high on false bravado but they believe that what they're doing they believe it's a holy crusade they believe it's a ho holy cause so please don't go stay home okay um well i guess that's going to be all for today. I don't want to just sit here and just ramble on. Uh, things are going to be happening. Things will be happening quickly. There's going to be a multitude of information coming from every corner of everywhere. This is the the cataclysm. This is the the boom goes the dynamite. Okay, so the 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 uh, wick has been lit. It's burning. It just hasn't gotten to the pile of dynamite yet, but it's coming. So like, share, subscribe. Thank you for spending this time with me. Happy Sunday. Um, this has been Tea Time with Tanya. Thank you. Ask me a question. You'll get a free reading. Um, uh, I ask me good questions. I love doing uh, readings. So my problem is I can't think of enough questions just off the top of my head because I have people talking to me. And right now they're kind of focused on what's happening, what's about to happen. So if you have any good political questions, if you have a personal issue, whatever, ask me. I will do a reading gladly. Thank you. Um, just if you do ask me a question, you have to hit the bell notification so that I can let you know that your question has been, that, I, that I'm going to do the reading and that your question has been answered. So thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful day. Love each other. Make sure, set your intention to positive and set your ideal to action. So be positive in word and thought. Be positive and proactive in action. Okay, that's the only way we're going to make it out of this and make it to the other side. Please don't let the inky blackness take you down and f don't feed it. We have to starve it and we have to starve it by loving each other. And that means loving the people that 
maybe we don't agree with. Okay? So, and in fact, we have to love them. We do. We have to, in our hearts, that, that, just love, just love them because they're, they're a fellow man. You don't have to love the actions that they're doing, but they are human beings. And if we hate them, we feed the beast. If we, if we just, if we're just kind and word and thought, we win, we fight, we feed good. Okay. Love you guys. Have a great day.